If you need to use Zoom and you don't know how to use it, we're here to help you. I am Bella from KK Technologies. Let's get started. Zoom makes it easy for you to connect with your colleagues online. It's great for meetings as well as team building activities, school lessons, when you can't all get together in person. You can download the Zoom for your Mac or PC. This is what the Zoom desktop client looks like. On the Home tab you'll see options to start a new meeting, joining meeting, schedule a meeting and share your screen. In the top menu you'll find the Chat tab, Meetings tab, and Contacts tab. In the Chat tab you can send messages to your friends or colleagues. If your organization already uses another IM service you probably don't need to use this option. Click the plus sign to start new conversation. Then click new chat if you just want to have a quick conversation or create a channel if you're looking to create a permanent chat room for you and your friends. Then type in the names of the contact you want to add to the chat or channel. If you're creating a channel, taking a channel name you can choose to make the channel private. So only those invited can join for public, so anyone in your organization can join. Then click create channel. From there you can easily send messages, emojis, share files, and screenshots. In the meetings tab, you'll see your scheduled meetings for the day. You will also be able to easily access your personal meeting ID to make it easy to send that information to your friends. If you want to start a meeting, in the contacts tab, you will see directory of contact you about it, as well as channels you're part of. Under the directory tab, you should see list of contacts. For add a new contact click the plus sign. Then click add a contact. Write their email address then click add. Okay. Now let's go back to the home page. If you click my profile icon, you can easily update your status and access your setting. You can configure your video and audio settings here along with a number of other settings. If you click my profile, you will be taken to the Zoom website where you can edit your profile details and integrate your Google Outlook for Exchange account to link your calendar and contacts to Zoom. Now we check the basics of the desktop client for learn how to call. There are different ways to start or join a call. First way of starting a new call is new meeting. Another method is to join someone else's meeting by using the join feature. Click join then type meeting ID or personal link name for meeting you want to join. If you like don't connect to audio or turn off your video. Click then after click join. The third way is joining a pre-scheduled meeting. Go to your meetings tab, then click either start or join besides a meeting you want to join. You only see the start option if you're the host of a meeting. Once you're in a Zoom call you can easily invite contacts using the invite option at the bottom. Click on the contacts you want to invite or copy the meeting URL to send it in IM. Using the tabs left bottom in the video. You can unmute or mute your microphone and turn your video on or off. You can check who is in a meeting by clicking Participants tab at the bottom. You can also view the chat room within this meeting by clicking Chat. The chat option is a great way to ask questions or add comments without interrupting whoever is speaking or presenting during your meeting. You can also share files and links from there. If you want to record a meeting click Record. If you want to share a presentation or a homework, perhaps you can share your screen by Share tab. Then select which screen which you like to share with your friends. Or you can use whiteboard feature if you want to draw something. If you want to your friends be able to hear something playing on your computer like a video, make sure you check out the share computer sound box at the bottom as well. Then click share. Screen sharing you can use the annotate function to highlight your mouse draw on your screen, highlight important things, and more. You can use the menu at the top of your screen to pause or stop screen sharing. When you're done with the meeting, you can leave the meeting or end it altogether if you're the host by clicking either leave meeting or end meeting in the bottom right corner of the window. Thanks for watching this video. If you think it's helpful please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel.